welcome back to our affordable liveaboard yacht series. So welcome aboard this 1978 Heteris 58 Yacht Fisher. Cool. I so love we're it. in the cockpit. We just climbed in here because the lines are crossed. So it's yes. a little tricky on this specific dock to get in. So but let's point it from here. Yeah, so you do have the stern door here, which leads you to the swim platform, which in this case is a bolted on swim platform. It's not like a molded in one. But the swim ladder is on there as well. So just quickly, I know it's a Yacht Fisher, but it is an aft cabin cockpit motor yacht. Correct. For a lot of you that have been following us for a while, you guys know how much we like our aft cabin motor yachts is because it allows you to have a really nice master. And a lot of space, yeah, lots of interior volume. All so right, let's do it. Our cockpit here, we mm -hmm. have a storage box right there. This window you see behind the cooler actually leads to the owner's suite. This is cool here. This is very nostalgic, actually. We have a cockpit helm station here. So we got the controls here. One is broken off, but we have the shift controls here and the throttle controls right here. I mean, it seems like it's not in use, but if you wanted to bring it back up to life, you probably could. Exactly. If you would like yep. to use it. There's a barbecue there. Chairs are sitting here. This table is totally movable and you can open it up kind of cool you can put some chairs around and hang out here a good spot for if you're out in the islands just for some sound downers cool little hangout area so another cool thing which is also pretty nostalgic to me is this here and you see there's a little glass there let's show it here because yeah, it's a little is, easier to what is see this? these are your gauges for your fuel tanks no yes well how do you know that well, i don't know common sense I mean, you're Logic. like as old as this yacht, so... Or maybe I feel the connection. I'm just looking at it as a gauge there, so what else could it be? I mean, oh, it could there be a is water, a gauge. I couldn't could see the water, gauge. It could be a water tank, but I believe it's fuel tanks. Huh, very interesting. Okay, so right. coming back up? A couple of steps up, we're going coming to up upper upper cockpit. All right, let's do it. So coming up into the our cockpit here. Which is very protected. Yes, so they do have a soft enclosure here that of course you can take off if you don't need it. These windows are openable as well. You can slide this open, which is pretty nice. Very and nice. Create some breeze in here as well. They didn't close this space and now it's like super protected. So even if it's pour and rain, you can hang out here. You can put a table here. You can bring that table up actually mm -hmm. with some chairs and you can have a dinner out here as well. And then you have weather doors on both sides. Yeah, we got the wing doors. Also created for a pretty protective space. So here we have an ice maker. Nice. And a little bit of storage down here. Oh, what's this? Oh, and a sink. Your wet bar. What? Everything. All right. And uh, shall we go forward? Sure. Okay, we'll go on this side. We'll go on starboard. Oh, such a nice breeze here. Right. Amazing. And this is what I like, this overhang protected walkway. Really like it, actually. I know. And a good sign when you're shopping for an older vessel. Look at this. It's all protected. Yeah, it's teak so underneath. There's teak and you can see it's in a good shape and mm -hmm. it's properly protected here. So definitely a good sign. Right here we have our side boarding door. Oh, there it is. So you can come up here and go straight into the salon and actually right to the galley. So it's super close. It's Ooh, raining. It starts raining. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Ah, quick. All right, go ahead. It is definitely raining. So. so we have a very large foredeck. This is a hatch probably to one of the cabins down below. Interesting. Then we have the foot remote switches, anchor windless right here, the anchor forward with your little Titanic move. <laughs> All right. So and cute. Then looking with a teak. I like how much space is here. And the cool thing is you still have a bench there. You can actually hang out and sit. Underway. It's only rainy, you guys. He's making me feel in the rain. I'm gonna be drenched. Uh, it's all good. Okay. All right, moving. This is a good open space here. Same thing. You can put a couple of chairs here. You can put some bean bags and just hang out. Super cool spot. True. Okay. Yep. Moving, moving aft. On. Moving aft. Okay, going aft. So another sliding door here on the port side. And we're gonna go up to our flybridge. There's a ladder right here. And uh, ready? Oh, I'll oh. follow you. Follow me. I'm wearing shorts. I know. <laughs> really cute. And of course, now the rain stopped. Oh, this is good up here. Yeah, it's a nice space. So you have a really cool bench here, sitting for four people. 
can totally see underway like everyone's sitting here feet up just hanging out yeah super cool look at the visibility nice from visibility here. yeah totally and then back there we have a cooler which of course again you can do whatever you want so it looks like the space could be air conditioned oh yeah you're right looks Unless, like the I, I think it is air conditioned well you see vents are I there see the, i see the vents right there so this place is air conditioned Yep, these chairs definitely seem like they were upgraded. There is no way they're from 1978. No. Yeah, these ones were definitely upgraded. And there's a soft enclosure here. We had some crazy weather, so it looks like it just it got dirty, but it is in that decent shape. So looking at the helm, this is kind of cool. Look how big the helm wheel is. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. So Back in the days where big wheels were popular. Upgraded electronics, Garmin electronics here, two chart plotters. We got our engine gauges right here, the main engine gauges. Also, they look like they've been recently updated or upgraded. They're flow scans, What's actually. What's flow scans? A flow scan is showing you how many gallons per hour you are using, or how many oh, gallons so per cool. mile you're using. On this boat, you Very don't cool. expect it. No, that, was, that must have been installed after the fact. Very cool. Still have our old analog gauges for the main engines. We got the alarm switches and bypass switches here from the main engines. We have the old electronics depth sounder here, VHF radio, got the throttle control here on the port side and the shift control on the starboard side, search light, have our main engine ignition switches, start and stop buttons, navigation lights, anchor lights. Then here on the port side, we have our bilge pump switches. And then of course we have still lots of storage space and access underneath here for covers and all the stuff you want to store up here on the flybridge. Pretty cool. If you guys know what this is, put it down in the comments right now. I'm giving you like one, two, three, four, five seconds to put that down in the comments. What is this? This is to put your iPad under. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Every time we're in the Bahamas, like we're obviously using the charts and everything, but I love my paper chart cruising guide the cruising and, guide yeah right? and i have to macgyver it's super windy on the flybridge and i have to like macgyver little clothespins to keep it together but how cool is that you yeah. can just put it in here i love using it i think it's still nice to be able to have that like even just a cruising guide yeah i agree anyway that's for a chart it really feels like somebody cool. put quite a bit of love into this boat here so whoever is taking it next was gonna have a nice boat agreed speaking of uh nice if you guys are enjoying our channel the biggest help you can give our channel grow is please hit that like button write us a couple of comments and use that share the share error makes a huge difference well might as well also check us out on patreon because we offering a lot of cool stuff all right let's go check out the interior yes oh we forgot something what no, stay there stay there <laughs> don't move we forgot totally to mention we have the david here aft with some shocks for a smaller tender and once it's in the water you could technically even put a couple of chairs up there if you want to are you kidding me you forgot to mention the dad yep i did <laughs> wow wow got a gap in the you it's monday okay it is all right let's check out the interior Well, it's like overwhelming a little bit with the couches, huh? I know, they're pretty, <laughs> pretty big, but it's like a bit of a blank canvas, right? You can Perfect, do whatever actually. you want here. It's loose furniture. So if you have a different idea for this space, you can completely change it up. But uh, obviously two very comfy couches here <laughs> set up. And you can tell that at some point there was a bit of an interior refit, right? Like looks, this definitely looks look, impeccable. Yeah, they look like they were replaced. The flooring looks really good as well. Use this as sort of an idea inspiration. What you would do here, it's got big windows these are openable no oh it's the sliding windows yeah oh okay oh, i like how you shut me down shoot they are the, openable yeah huge openable like this one and that on both sides you can open them you up you are correct hmm. wow no, i would like to just say you are right yeah okay can we uh <laughs> what's in here so we have some storage oh what's this oh i see what you're saying that looks like something mm -hmm. interesting might be in there mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? Maybe there was an old record player in there or something. That's what I just envisioned. Yeah. That's really cute. I mean, 1978, I right? Something was here for sure. Wait a minute. There's more access underneath and there what? and there and there. Okay, what and do you And there's want? a foldable table there. <gasps> no You're missing way. everything. I'm missing everything. You're right. So actually, if you would just move this over, you have a table you can pop up. And I would imagine that these legs there probably are for the table. 
Ah, you're right. You're absolutely mm -hmm. correct. But what is this thing? No stool to sit on. Oh, you think? Or like a side, side table. So you're basically saying it's like a little work desk. Yes. You put those legs up and you could sit here. Okay, so as we're moving forward, there's a TV here. I really like how they resolved that. So I'm not 100% sure. We would have to do some research, but I would imagine there might have been a helm station down here at oh, some point. Oh, for sure. I am positive there yeah. was a helm here. Right. So they've removed it. As you guys saw, we have that perfectly great visibility helm up there. Mm -hmm. I mean, like on our old boat, we had two helms. We never used the interior never helm. Never used the interior yeah. helm. Even though on the long journeys you could, but there, if it's enclosed, super comfortable. So I think they did a great job here. They have the TV down there and then storage up here for your entertainment equipment. This is very nostalgic. Check oh, this yeah. out. You still have some old switchovers between ship and shore power, 220 circuits breaker panels and then your gauges for the electric you would actually not exactly know what because the age of this boat is i'm just gonna say very similar to your age yeah it's young <laughs> it's a very young boat so you don't have to know what is what yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, are yeah. excused this was way before my time i'm just gonna put it out there oh, so okay, i really okay. don't know but if you guys know put it down in the comments so of course we still have the two sliding doors to go to the side deck and they're fantastic great access super super easy not just great access also great airflow it feels Isn't really it nice? nice so there is an ac in here and we just had it on and it's working great it's cooling really quickly but when you open this up you really don't need it imagine now it would open the two windows yeah we'll oh, be, it's we'll amazing be. it's almost too much wind it's so nice i'm standing here right now like i don't need AC. you don't need ac yeah this feels like california even though it's really warm right now in florida okay where we go next let's go down below check out the galley and the guest cabins let's do it okay, i'm leaving my glasses here okay remind me real quick interrupting this tour that i'm sure you guys are enjoying for an awesome announcement Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me what? Give me money. Oh, okay. We are giving away cash on all sell items in our Shop Naughty store. Also our floating aviators. And the stuff in the Victoria's Closet section. That 20 bucks goes here. Dollar goes here. Five bucks for you. Even if you order a bunch of other stuff, as long as there's a pair of sunglasses in there, you are also getting, well, $12 in this case. Whoa! Yes. Okay, so this is fun. Let's um, give me more boxes. There is a rush order right there. Throw something in there. They paid a lot of shipping, right? They did pay a lot of shipping. <gasps> what? Did you just put 100 bucks in there? Yeah. Where'd you even get 100 bucks? How many hundreds in the stack? It's, it's in the stack. Whoa. Okay, wait. This one is missing. And they've got some sunglasses and some sale items right here. There we go. Boom. Merry Christmas. You just got five bucks. So happy holidays. Happy shopping. Go check out our shopnaughtystore.com. This will be happening all the way, including Christmas Day. So you've got a few weeks to shop. Happy holidays. Back to the tour. Welcome to the galley. Oh, wow. So you have a proper galley here. You have a really nice dinette here, sitting for four, a nice home office. If you are using this as a liveaboard, this would be great. I would work here all the time. Or I would set up a nice table up I there. Agree. It's pretty nice. Is that storage uh, behind there or? Sure looks like it. Uh, you're so motivated for me to open things. Why? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little shelving and yeah. storage. Nicely incorporated. Walk us through the galley. So we have a large refrigerator, Fisher Pike. I rarely see this in US. Yeah, yeah, and that's how the refrigerators looked in 1978. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Young and fresh like the cameraman. Oh my God. All right, so all of this is storage. <laughs> you guys put in the comments, what is where you born in? 60s, 70s, 80s, which ones were you born in? Put in the right. comments. I am very curious so, to see. So in my case and the boat's case, 78, that counts to 80s already, No, right? that's definitely 70s. You round up. No, 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 you, you round do not. Up. You do not. Okay, yeah. what do we have here? Oh, huge storage here, which so, I guarantee mm -hmm. used to be refrigeration. Yes, 100%. Yeah, and now it's just a very nice, Deep storage, great for long-term provisioning. We've got a dual sink here. Wow, this all looks like it was upgraded at some point. It did. Very nice. And then Ninja Toaster, these are great. Love Ninjas. So then we have a microwave, more storage. Then we have a dishwasher. Yes, that's amazing. 
Hang on a minute. And we have a large four burner. Induction cooktop. Nice. Also upgraded, definitely very recently. All of this is storage. I wouldn't say it's like overwhelming amount of storage in a galley, but it's a great size. You can totally make it work. You know what? This galley is larger than the one we had. 100% and we lived on that for eight years and yes. it was fine. Down there we have the generator and some technical areas. Oh, all right, let's go forward. Yes. Okay, welcome to our forward twin state room. Oh, look at this. We have a bunk bed here, nice and bright. You can see that all the portholes are covered. They're definitely keeping it cool in here, like creating as much shade as possible when the boat is not used. We'll and also keep the sunshine out so it doesn't exactly. bleach or discolor the wood and destroy that materials. That is an openable hatch. Yes, but it check is. that out. There's a in ventilation. ventilation in there. Interesting. Oh, there's a window in there. How funny. But that's actually been converted to a hanging locker. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, oh, that's your chain look. locker. Check it out. Wow, this is cool. Full access to your anchor chain and road. So your chain locker is right here. And of course it's drained, so you're not getting any water into your cabin, but that's pretty good access. So are they both access? No. No, that's a little shelf. Oh, that's, that's a cool. cute hanging locker. Check it out. Perfect for dresses. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so tall. Okay, and then we also have an ensuite. So we have a separate shower, it's very nice. We've got a sink, some storage underneath, shelves here. Oh, this opens, this opens. Huh. There's even an instruction pad and it works. It's working. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's all working. And you want to see the shower? Nice one person shower with an openable porthole. It even has a drying rod yeah, nice. in the shower. So you have both of those. All right, let's keep going. Wait a minute. What? What's this? I don't That's know. That's a cat door. What? Yes, it's a cat door. What's you think in, it's, what's a, inside? it's a cat house? Maybe it was at some point used to be a litter box. You think? It looks like it. That's quite brilliant. I've never seen that before. I think you're right. Pretty clever. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We're going to go aft. Oh, did I miss something? Oh, crap. <gasps> oh. Wow. So ashamed. I can just say, I'm wow. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Separate washer and dryer. Check, check. Didn't expect that. I mean, this boat is fully ready for liveaboard. Put your own style. Just add some, you know, yep. some extra you to it. Put some TLC in it, and it's definitely very much ready to live aboard. Okay, this is cool. We'll show it in a moment. Just remember that we're coming back here. So this is a two cabin mm -hmm. two head layout and this is our owner suite come on in wow this is big it is very big agreed that troller style setup is what allows us to have this massive aft cabin mm -hmm. so let's start here right we've got a <laughs> wow a walk-in closet <laughs> pretty much yeah crazy okay then on this side check this out oh, that's another closet turn the light on Huh. Wow. I would have been so happy with this. That's all I need. This is huge. Amazing. And it even has portholes for natural light, which right now, like we mentioned, they're keeping everything nice and dark, protecting it from the strong Floridian sun. So keep going forward. There's another door. Oh, Where's this going? Oh, that's our air condition. Oh, okay, got it. But still a little bit of storage space there. Correct, on the bottom here. And then, which side do you want to be yours? That's your side. I've I decided. like this one here, look at this. Oh yeah, those are cool. And BBL? Yeah, check, I like them. Lots of drawers for you, that's your side. Oh, wow. Then we have a really nice window here. Right now we have a cooler sitting up there for storage, but in general, look how beautiful. Like, that's a really nice amount of natural light. If we open, we have four open, five. Five, yeah. Openable portholes there. Then we have this window, super cool. And here we actually have space for both of us. Yeah, so you have a queen size bed. Uh huh. With storage below or no? Yeah, there's a little bit of storage right here. And this space allows us to both have a spot. Check it out. You've got two areas where you can put a computer, sit down, totally. work, do makeup, whatever you would like. Storage here. Are these speakers? Open shelving. Oh, used to be speakers? This here? Yeah. I don't know. Probably. Looks like it. It's pretty funny. I know. It's just got such a nice little nostalgic vibe. Cute. Now on to our ensuite. Is this also some kind of storage? Oh yeah. Storage underneath that. A whole storage bench. 
Nice. Love it. Let's go into the ensuite. Oh, this is big. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a it really is. great space for two. Check this out. And even like the toilet is a little separate. They put as many as possible because you cannot have enough drying racks or towels on the boat. And Agreed. they put as many as they could. This looks like giant storage. That could be a linen closet. I love it. And then here as well. <gasps> wow. I mean, someone definitely lived on this boat for sure. Seems like it. Yeah, right? Or traveled like an extensive amount of time. Yeah. It's completely set up to have as much stuff as possible. There's a medicine cabinet here, all of these as well. Looks like there's a porthole behind this. Yeah, you yeah, should get right some there. natural light in. Oh, two portholes. Look, one, wow. two. Uh huh. And then, of course, here we have a shower. I couldn't figure out how to turn this light on, so you guys just gonna have to trust me here. So this is definitely a two, maybe even a three person shower. Like no. two and a half? Two at person shower. At least two, look at me. Two and a half. Okay, look two at and the a bench. half. Two and a half. And there's this still is, an operable porthole This here. is quite interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this before. What? This contraption here? Yeah. Sort of like a rain shower. Very interesting. Uh-huh. Now onto the very interesting thing that I believe we only have toured a few boats that have this. We'll pick one which is the quieter one because on the port side we do have some equipment running. I'll open this for you and um, what? see you. What's happening? Open this. I'm going in? Yeah. All right. Hello engine. Hello. Hello, Rico. So this is quite unique. You're not going to see that really anymore in the newer style vessels, which are floating around now. We have a split engine room. So we have one on the starboard side and one on the port side midship. I personally think it's pretty cool because weight balance wise, you have heavy engines quite far forward. You mean like a good weight distribution? Yeah, like a very good weight, 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 weight distribution. <laughs> Which, um, you know, things from 1978 have. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, uh, then. So we got two it Detroit... Feels like a self-promotional video we <laughs> somehow. <laughs> we got two Detroit diesel main engines, one here on the starboard side, one in the other engine room, which has the same setup. So you have the two doors to gain access. You can easily walk around the engine here for maintenance reasons and um, access. What's this right here? What am I looking the at? The manifold there? Yes. It's a fuel manifold okay. right there. Straight ahead of you is the water tank, for example. Then we have the water manifold right next to it there, hot and cold water, mm -hmm. which looks to me that might have been upgraded at some point. We have main battery switches here forward. Engine room blowers off right now. Looks very clean. Looks in very here. clean, yeah. Looks like it was maintained and refitted at some point and maintained again. Like it's not dirty, dusty, soup, nothing. Yeah. So you're saying it's exactly the same on the other side? Almost. We have the chillers on the other side, so it's a little bit louder. Look here, if I open it, you can hear it. Just so you guys see it here, I can show it to everyone. Pretty much the same like we saw on the other side. Got our main engine here. And then we have the chillers right there, the compressors for the air condition and same amount of space to move around on the outside to work on your engine pretty cool Alrighty, you guys if you enjoyed this tour please give us a like and comment and three comments would be great and then do that share button and if you're looking for some extra outtakes join us on the patreon well i have another one for you guys if you really really want to help just have all videos play in the background at home even if you don't watch Ciao. long view durations <laughs> oh, it's the same trash can as we have in our house. Oh. Serious. In our condo. Okay, Which that's for a, a lot of you that have been following us will know that we love our, 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 our,